As a little kid, I read the comics. As a big kid, I saw the movies. And now I've met Spider-Man. Not nerdy Peter Parker, but a real-life superhero, a Frenchman called Alain Robert. What he does is pretty astounding. Like a human spider, he climbs the tallest skyscrapers on Earth. No ropes, no safety harnesses, no backup crews. One slip and he's dead. It sounds crazy, but it's made this pint-sized daredevil a rich man, a star who can attract 100,000 fans to one of his performances. It's also a dream fulfilled, his way of escaping his greatest fear, boredom. His world is not one of cliff faces or rugged mountain peaks, but the modern urban towers of concrete, steel and glass. Look high up into the skyline and you'll find the man they call the Spider-Man, Alain Robert. Are you crazy? Yeah, most likely I am crazy, but I'm crazy uh, to do what I do. And I'm doing it quite well, so it's a beautiful craziness. Superheroes don't come much smaller than jockey-sized Alain, but what he does is extraordinary. Using nothing but his hands and feet, he's conquered some of the tallest skyscrapers on the planet. The Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia, Chicago's Sears Tower, and at more than 500 metres, the tallest building in the world, Taipei 101. Every time Alain solos up one of these buildings, his life is in his hands. You know, there is no backup, there is no rope, there is no safety net, there is no invisible wire. For 15 years, Alain has stunned the world with his bravado. It's proved very lucrative and also earned him rock star status. In Abu Dhabi, more than 100,000 people watched him defy death. Any uh, little mistake and then uh, you're dead. So, of course, <laughs> for yourself, you do need to be very uh, focused and uh, concentrated. You really only have two options. Yeah, it's very much like that. Two options, whether you live or whether you die. And, of course, uh, I, am, I keep on choosing the, the first one. We've come to Paris to join Alain on his latest crazy challenge. Not to climb the Eiffel Tower, he's already done that, but the Total Tower in the heart of the financial district. Climbing, it's my whole life. I did start to climb when I was something like 14. Now, now I'm 46, so it means that all along uh, I have decided that I was going to climb and I, and I climb. It's not only dangerous, it's illegal. So to avoid security, we drive to the back of the tower. Then quickly, quietly, Alain starts. Gripping the narrow metal edge of the window frames, he works his way up the building. Alain reckons this is about the hundredth skyscraper he scaled. And this form of climbing actually has a name. It's called urban freestyle solo. No ropes, no safety nets, no hooks. Just an extraordinary amount of self-belief.
Show me your hands. They're very small. Very, uh, don't insult me. <laughs> and very soft. Where is the strength? You pull against me. Whew. <laughs> it's in the historic village of Pezenas in the south of France where Alain works on that phenomenal strength. His bedroom also doubles as a climbing gym. It's here he really earns his name, the Spider-Man. He looks like a huntsman crawling on the ceiling. How often are you doing this climbing on your ceiling alone? Well, I'm, I'm trying to do it twice a day when I'm home, which is quite rare nowadays. How does this training help you? Well, just, you know, having some uh, good, uh, good strength, good stamina. How heavy are you? I'd say 52 kg. Can I test? Can I lift you up? Oh, now you want to take your revenge. I understand. Oh, light as a feather. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, I can't it's, do it. it's not so... Not so easy. It's not I can't so even easy. swing my body up. You're amazing. Because I marvel the, at you. And seeing Alain tenaciously climb up this skyscraper on a cold Paris morning, you do truly marvel at him. To get some idea of the skills needed to survive up there, I sought out one of the few who'd know. If I fall, will this rope catch me? Yeah, for sure. Neil Gresham is one of Europe's leading climbing instructors. OK, away you go. I must admit, it's a struggle. I can't begin to imagine doing this without a rope and harness. Come on, Peter, keep it going, mate. You're nearly there. Go on, keep looking for your feet. Don't pull too hard with your hands. You're nearly there. This will do. Keep it going. No, no, you're not at the top yet, mate. Keep going. I'm done. You can't quit now, mate. You've only got another two metres. Let's see it. I think the key skill is, is, is shutting out the fear. You just concentrate on getting that hand correct and that hand as good as you can do it, relaxing your muscles so that you don't become too tense, placing your feet perfectly so they don't slip. You're just focusing on the process that's getting you to the top of the building. As soon as you come out of that and look around you, or worse still, look down, you're in, you're in deep trouble. <laughs> it's hardly the Empire State Building, <laughs> but it was a start. It was a start. I think that's what uh, the respect I have for what Alain does. Yeah. He could be up 60, 70 storeys with nothing. Respect? What are you talking about, mate? He's a nutter. <laughs> <laughs>
I I want to continue and um, if tomorrow uh, I die because of the buildings then that would be a bit of my destiny. What does danger mean to you? Danger for me, it's uh, having a boring life. This is danger. It's bad, it's totally unhealthy. I think that's the true meaning of uh, danger. What I do, overall, it's not dangerous. I am doing stuff that I love, so uh, I call it uh, living uh, my dream. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.